What's up guys, what's going on? Camp out coming at you with a review. As you can see, A6 Tiger, so shout outs to A6 Tiger USA. I'm gonna turn it up so you guys can see what's going on here. It is a Gel Light 5 in gray and black, uh, size 10.5 in the US. Uh, obviously, as you guys can see, highs and lows, monkey time. Uh, I believe it's called the Kabuki. Uh, I'm not really sure what the name is, a little unclear on that, but anyway, the inspiration for the shoe itself is from actors in Japan's Edo period. Uh, they wore checkered motif, or their motif was checkered, so here we go. Uh, basically gray and black, very, very clean aesthetic. You guys know I love gray, so you really can't go wrong if a gray shoe lands in my hands, I will never be upset. Uh, other than that, very simplistic, very basic, uh, across the colorway, the most contrasting thing about the shoe is the translucent portions on the outsole. So the heel portion, you've got clear, and the toe portion, forefront, you've got clear as well with a checkered uh, motif, I guess you can say, uh, being seen through that translucent portion, and then white in the center area. We'll get back into the material. Um, I'd say, uh, not the best, not the worst on the material on the toe box. The toe box is definitely a little bit better than the actual toe capping area. Uh, you can see, maybe you can, maybe you can, some brush strokes on that bad boy. Uh, so that gives me a little indication that it's pretty decent. Uh, pretty soft, so I'm not mad about that at all. Um, same thing across the youth throat area or the lower portion of the lace area. It looks a little tight here. Let me grab the other one because I put it on already so we can go over the sizing. But uh, 10 and a half, uh, true to size. If you like snug, obviously do the uh, 0.5 down. If you like your normal fit, stay true to size, even though it is a Gel Light 5. If you're unfamiliar, the Gel Light 5 runs a little bit more snug off the rip because of the sock liner, but let's get into the rest of the shoe. So we did the toe box with the perforations. You got your clean hood or flat hit across the toe cap, wrapping into the lateral side. Lateral side, you got your Asics Tiger logo in a black. Uh, let's go with new buck on that, and you got a cage portion, giving you that checkered look in the center area of the Asics logo with a gray base underlay. I can't feel material, so I'm not really sure what that is because the cage is a little raised. Uh, you got some perforations in the black hits in between the Asics Tiger logos in here and the lace area wrapping around. You got gel light five in the, uh, looks like some of it. Okay, so some of it has a gel feel to it or a, a little shine to it, as you can see, and the other portion is actually just outlined with that. So it says gel with the shine and then light outlined with that same kind of uh, gloss. And then rolling into the heel cup portion, you got that same gray from the toe cap wrapping around the heel portion with that Asics hit in the gloss again. Another little new buck hit for black and then your neoprene sock liner on the upper portion of the Achilles. Give you a little focus, sorry about that. Lower portion of the heel area has got the black new buck in perforations. It's a nice big gaping hole and it looks like it's 3M behind there, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that looks like a 3M hit on the underlay of the wrap around here. I'll see if I can get a little flare for you. Bring a little bit closer. Can we see anything in there? Uh, no, so I'm gonna have to see if I can find a picture for you. Uh, either way, it looks kind of clean. I can see it, you guys can't, but I'll see if I can find something that'll show you that detail effect there. Rolling to the medial side, you got your ASICS logo again. As you can see, it's not mirrored from the lateral side, so I'll just show it to you real quick. So they inverted on that portion. So you got gray on the underlay, gray on the overlay, and the Asics Tiger. And instead of having the gray on the under, so obviously it wasn't material, you have black on the under with a white cage above it. Uh, Asics, like I just said, you got a black stitch going through this uh, Asics Tiger logo as opposed to the lateral side, which has a gray stitch, is what I'm assuming. Could be white, just I can't tell because of the contrast because it's so dark. Uh, very, very clean. I like that little hit there. And you also have another Another hit across the midsole, which is a black hit towards the medial portion of the medial of the uh, of the midsole on the lateral and medial little Asics branding hit. Very, very clean. I don't see any, oh, there are some extra laces. Chilling. So you got one set of extra laces and a black flat. I don't see any marking on the aglets on these bad boys, but the rope lace has a much better aglet than the flat lace. The flat lace has just a plastic aglet. These are metal that come in them. The rope lace that's in there is like a checkered design as well, and it also syncs up with the footbed of the shoe as well. Footbed, footbed. Um, I don't see any, hmm. I don't see any other branding for any of the other brands that are on this. Uh, i.e. highs and lows and or monkey time. But overall, very, very clean, fire. Uh, I will do an on foot. You guys have any questions or comments, hit me in the comment section. As always, uh, if you aren't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and uh, smash that like button. <laughs> Chill in. I'm out of here. Peace.